What is up guys, welcome back to another Skater Excel video. Today we're gonna be skating some gaps. I just wanna start out by, well, falling off this, but then hitting this first gap here, which is gonna be flying over this bump and over the bench here. So a pretty far gap, but I think that's a pretty good way to start the video out. And then I have some viewer, viewer, view, viewer two gaps submitted by viewers which we're gonna check out as well so how about we just see if i can do this with my uh, with my current stats i'm trying to pump down this maybe just get a melon oh my god that was not enough speed i have done this on vanilla stats but i have my settings a bit more realistic now oh i am high popping and we got a nose crab over it. All right. So what should we get for this video? What if we turn on my Mega Ram settings? Mega Ram 2.0 maybe? Because then I think we could get a really slow pop shove it. I want to save the kickflip for a gap later in the video. So hopefully we can still get the right speed. Oh, that was just an ollie. I'm trying just to crouch a little to the side. And hopefully our skater here is going to do a pop shove it. So kind of like that. That was very slow and I don't have enough speed for it. Oh, that was pretty close. That is the pop shove that I want. I'm trying to make it a little bit spread eagle. Maybe not like a lot. Okay, I tried to tweak it out a little bit afterwards. Let's just get a quick replay. Maybe a bit too ridiculous on the, uh, the feet movement in the air there. Yeah, a little bit. Let's just redo that. A bit too fast, but maybe this was fine. Yeah, I like it more than the other one. Let's just try to get a good angle on it, even though I think it's going to be really hard to film. What about a grab trick? So maybe like a front 180 melon. That was a front 360 melon, and I didn't even clear the gap. Yeah, okay, I tried to tweak it out. What is going on here? Okay, it was just very zoomed in. I let go a little too early, but I think it still looked pretty good. Okay, let's try to get one final trick, and I want to make this one look good, since I'm not completely happy with the two tricks we got already. A switch barrel heal, that would be pretty sick if we can do it this slow. I mean, I am kind of cheating a little bit since we have it on, on the Mega Ram settings. But it's still going to be a challenge for me, as you can see. That would have been a switch laser. I need to chill on the scoop a little bit. No! I was a switch barrel heal, but it looked kind of weird, and we didn't even clear the bench, I think. Switch forward heal? I caught it with the front foot. I think I do that on my switch barrel heel flips, but I don't do that on my regular heel barrel heel flips in real life. So I think this one was pretty good. Let's just check it out. Yeah, that was pretty sick looking. All right. Okay, I am really, really happy about that. So let's just turn on my normal settings. So basic realism here. And then I think we should try to move the maps. So we're going to downtown Los Angeles. And the very first challenge is from Finn.L or Big I33. So he recommended this gap we're trying to find right now. Just cruising through downtown Los Angeles. But he sent me a really awesome gap over here. So basically starting up on this and then doing a trick into this big bank going down here and then flying off this hitting the rail over here so i haven't even tried that out yet but hopefully we can make something happen thank you so much for the gap suggestion just start like this okay and then just roll down here see that in itself is a pretty cool gap but if i could oh my god Ooh, and then kind of land on it. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying a frontside flip to switch 50. That would be really, really ridiculous. Maybe just try to go for something simple to begin with. Like a no slide, a board slide. 
I also don't know if I should low or medium pop. Or high pop. Oh, that was close. It seems tough to stay on a no slide though. Oh my god. It's also just really hard to aim for. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of those slams. Is it grindable? It got to be. He did it. Yeah, it is grindable. I think it's just my angle up here is making it a bit hard for the game. Okay, what if we just warm up with getting something on the gap? So maybe like a front pop. There we go. So here's what Finn did. He kind of ollied into it, it seems like. And then he did a gap to a... Back lip. Okay, so a back lip should work. We have the evidence for that. I just can't really make board slide or no slide work. But I guess I'll just have to keep trying it a little bit at least. Trying to go for the uh, back lip though. I kind of got a back tail. That seems like that would be the easiest for me to do. But we didn't really stick it. And if you come at it at too much of an angle, it just don't want to slide. Yeah. I tried to really stay on it there by pressing my nose down. <laughs> okay, we got the back lip. So as you guys probably could tell, I really tried to just like stay on the rail. So I really tweaked my board like this since I came at it at such an angle. And it worked. Nice. Alright, I don't know if I'm getting anything else. Because this is just really, really hard to skate. If we could land in a Switch 50, that would be cool. But I don't think it's gonna work. We can try though. Otherwise, just going over the rail would also be pretty cool. I mean, we did already get a trick on it. Oh, I got a back three. Awesome. I didn't really tweak it or anything because I didn't really expect to land it right there. But that, that's a pretty cool gap. Okay, we can try a little bit more to get another slide or grind trick. But otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next spot. So we'll give it five more. <laughs> I guess I got a kickflip back lip big spin out. Even though that's very ridiculous. Oh, I went a little bit too far on that. I don't know if I can lock into a, a Switch 5-0 though. Or Fagy Nose Grind, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we got it. Frontside flip to Fagy Nose Grind. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Oh, look at the merch. Oh, that is definitely not supposed to be slow mode. <laughs> okay, I mean, we made it. So uh, let's just get an angle on it. And then we're going over to Jaquan to skate the final gap of this video, which was recommended to me by Jeremy Bauer. His Instagram is Jeremy F. Bauer, and he wanted me to ollie up onto this block and then ollie the stair sit, which I think I tried in an NS and chill before and couldn't do. And that's why I made some new settings that I called Brandon Westgate. Because we all know Brandon Westgate, he skates very fast and he's a character or pro skater who's in this game. So I thought we should try it like this. I also have Baby Pop disabled. Okay, we kind of got a first try. Nothing is happening. Okay, here we go. So I think I popped late. Yeah, so the board kind of gets caught like that. We gotta avoid that, if it's possible. That one seemed better. I mean, ollie does seem like it would be the easiest thing to do at this gap. But a really quick ollie up and then something off would look very, very cool. What is going on with my flip speed? It's just going crazy. Am I used to the uh, mega ramp <laughs> flip speed? I mean, that one seemed okay. But I don't know if I got the uh, style on the back foot that I wanted. I also got stuck a little bit, damn it. We'll have to do that again. Yep, 
You can tell I haven't played around with the fisheye for a long time, but yeah, it was okay. A good start. Back 180 would look really awesome. Oh, see, that's the difficult part about this cap. I don't even know if it's possible on vanilla settings. It should be. Ooh, that was nice. I tried to make that filming look really realistic, so pretty bad, I guess. Okay, I think I also want a hard flip. Let's see if we can do that. What? Such a difficult gap, but it does look really cool. No, 360 hard flip and it looks really, really bad. Everything about that was just off. Another kick flip. I even think a front foot caught it because I'm trying to do the hard flip. Ooh, all right. That was a really good catch. I like that. A really good catch. I think you I think you say that in other circumstances. But not being a native English speaker, I can't really put my finger on when the situation is right now. Someone who's a good person to have a relationship with or to marry because they are rich, attractive, etc. But yeah, I think that was the last trick of this video. So thank you so much to every one of you who suggest challenges to me or just spots to skate and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. So yeah, I thought today was a pretty fun video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be watching the very next one here on the channel. So until then, peace out. Final trade flip. All right, peace out guys.